Oh. What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and I am joined by the team over at Tile. Tile is a smart video and image editor that enables users to quickly create high quality content and daily social posts using stock resources. You can get it now on AppSumo starting at just $59 for a lifetime deal. Um, but before we dive in uh, to the walkthrough, I just want to tell you a few quick things. The first is uh, that you can tell us a little bit about your use case or your business over in the chat room on the right hand side. Um, the second thing is if you have any questions about the deal, the tool, how to get set up, anything like that, those questions are going to go in the Q&A box down below this video. Uh, we do have somebody on standby that will be answering those questions, but we'll also be circling back to them at the end of the webinar if you don't get a response. Um, and then the third thing is that there will be a replay of this available. So you can watch this as many times as you want if you are watching this in the replay. Hello. Um, all right, that's it for me. Hey, John, how are you doing? Hey, this is John from Team Tayo. How are you? I'm doing all right. I am excited to have y'all here today. I've um, been getting some rave reviews in our shop, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you for the walkthrough, and then just let me know when you're ready to get some questions. Okay. Awesome. So this is my turn from now? Yep. You can go. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to say once more, I'm June from Team Tayo, and today... I'd like to um, share how I use Tayo. You know, I'm also doing my marketing process in my team to you know promote Tayo. So I use Tayo every day. So it could be uh, nice to share how I use Tayo and get my productivity. Um, first, I'd like to share idea what we focus on Tayo. The first thing is a uh, simple UX. You know, there are so many tools with uh, powerful features, but I feel that actually I use just a very small feature. I use just a small feature. I don't need that old features because, you know, you need a time to understand how you can do that. And uh, it, it needs you to have a you know, learning curve. That is a, the one of, Another advantage is of Tayo. You don't need to any learning curve at all. So it follows that um, in a sense of feature, you may feel a little bit limitation, but it also gives you a high productivity and then any other tools. So I'd like to share some tips by demonstrating how I use Tayo by so I'm gonna share my screen from now. Um, give me a sec. Uh oh. What's going on? I'm not sure. I can share my screen right now. Okay. Um. Oh, I think. Uh, Yep, you got it. Okay, you guys can see my screen right now? Yep, it looks good. Okay, uh, let's go back to the tile. Um, today I prepare one, um, real estate sales video. So by creating the video with me and I will give you how I use tile. Before I use Tayo, I usually prepare my own script like this way. This is the script for today. Um, I'm gonna read for you if the text is small. The first start slide could be like this. Are you looking for cozy startup office for small teams? And the second goes like that, located near the subway station, five minutes on foot. And third slice, fourth floor and elevator installed. And fourth slide, balcony with a great view. And the last slide could be, do you want to visit? Book now, this kind of CTA. So I'm gonna try, uh, 
create one short form video with those text phrase. Then I'm gonna just uh, you know copy this first line, and I'm now here in Tile main editor. Oh, actually, it's a Tile program, and you can download this app on the you know landing page. So I usually start my work with this uh, new card button. Um, I mean, to start from scratch. So when you click this button, you see main editor with the random just one slide. So I'm gonna start from now. You guys know I already you know copy one text. So I put this like this way, and uh, I'm gonna just uh, copy all text from now. This is uh, for the second slide. And this for the third. Oops. And uh, this for the fourth slide. And last slide. Actually, I can separate this book now phrase to uh, this another text box. Oh, I did. I think I didn't explain the main structure of Tayo. You know, we have uh, five elements for your convenience and you can create a video or any other visual content using these five elements. What you need to do for design, in a sense of design, what you need to do is just to click this shuffle button to get your design. I'm gonna, you know, hit this shuffle button several times you can see the several design recommended by the design engine. And what you need to do is to select just one of it. Um, then from the uh, first slide, I will start my job right now. First thing, I'd like to select my font. We have a lot of font and you can just select by simple click. We have a uh, Google fonts and any other famous fonts. And uh, actually in this, in the AppSumo day period, we added, you know, more fonts as you recommend, you ask us to, you know, unload some font because you, we don't have the, you can unload the font by yourself, but you can ask us to unload the font if the, there is a no you know, license issue at all. So I'm gonna start, I just uh, pick this font as a default. And then, you know, in this time, I don't need the second content, you know, second text box. So I will just uh, you know, click this uh, button to hide. And then, um, Actually, I, you know, just prepare the background the videos. So I will unload one by one. I click this unload button. And then here is, uh, you know, I just shut the videos by my smartphone and I move the file to my, you know, desk to PC. Here is uh, my first video for that. When you click the preview button, it will show up like this way. For now, I remove the background music. You will see the video like this way. So, um, I'd like to move the, uh, I'd like to try the different design. So, um, I click this layout button and I'd like to move the text in the center like this way. It looks good. And then, You'd be nice just to remove the box like this way and move it to center. That's cool. And you see that the background color in a bit changed the wider because the text is black, so it just calculate this way. But you can change it anytime by click the color setting. The default color is now black 
So those are black. And this color, home green, is a text color is a uh, white. And uh, we use uh, this greenish background color and those highlight color. I will show you how I use uh, this highlight color. Like, you know, for this time, um, I do like to highlight this star of office and then just uh, drag these two words and then you can click those button for the text effect. Aim in the accent. So you'll see the, those special markdown inserted like this way. And you'll see the text effects is now available. You, you can see the text effects is affected. Also, you can upload your own logo. And for me, I already have my own library, so I'm gonna use it. And, uh, you know, the background is darker, so my logo, you can see my logo well. At the time, you can click this automatic button and you will turn the background color by itself. Now it's going to change as a, you know, white and it's more clear to see. Okay, I changed the center, align to center. And you can change the scale like this way. I think I finished my first slide. And then I'm just to try to move to the second page. Um, there is a thing, you can copy style to our next slides. So you, what you need to do is just click this button and you know the second goes same with the first slide. And then what you need to do is uh, unlock second library. I mean, second file like this. And, you know, you can set your logo. I think uh, I, I can remove the logo for, from the second slide. Also, if you click this button for a long time, you can copy all the styles, like size, font, and everything settle. So it changed by once. In a third slide, I'd like to download the third video, like this way, and the first slide. I should, uh, the balcony view, the video like this way. And uh, for the final slide, I just shot the you know still image. Oh, and uh, for the last slide, we use a content text box. So I just uh, un he unhide this content area, and it looks like almost the finish. You can change the logo color, the original automatic and white or black. So white would be nice for this first, first slide. And uh, I'd like to highlight more background. To, um, I'd like to change the brightness of this background because it looks so darker than I expected. So you can click this image brightness and make it original. This is the original what I shot. And if it, you know, you can see the text clearly, you can use other options like the dropping shadow or text outlining. Text outline would be nice for that. How do you think? Now you can, you have a, a visibility on the text and you can see the background video clearly. So, this is gonna be uh, the finish of the first slide.
And I'd like to highlight some more text words. For here, near the subway station, five minutes on foot. And then you can try to stretch mode for fun, five minutes on foot. And you can use like, like this kind of option. Um, first floor and elevator installed. You'd be nice to use elevator installed. Um, for this time, I'm gonna just change the color by this you know, text highlight. And you can also use other colors from me. That is a one of advantage of Tile because you don't need to worry about the color combination because we already prepared the well-matched color. Then there we, we also have a custom options for that. If you wanna uh, make your own brand color or your customer's brand color, what you need to do is click this add button on color panel and you can set the name like this way, brand color, and you can set the box color, the basic text color, and any other highlight color, like this way. We do also have a tile color. Um, for me, oh, okay. And then the first flight, balcony with great view. You know, I don't like this view word goes to the second line. So um, like this way, you can change the scale. That is a great way to, you know, just uh, redesign. And then I'd like to, um, to change to stretch mode and the change, uh, set the uh, background, background color. Uh, I think uh, this just the color accent will be nice. Also, you can change the font anytime, but I like this font. So I will finish the content with this just the one font. And final slide, do you want to visit? Book now. Um, for the book now, I'd like to use other font, which would be nice. Um, and then, a little bit la uh, larger. Also, you can set like like this option. Or um, I think that uh, this time we can try different way like this, and use a bit of boldy fonts. Hmm. I'm not sure which one would be nice for that. Okay. And then it'd be nice to change the highlight color, okay, dark color. Okay, it looks nice. And it's a web service, so I recommend you to save any time during while you're working on it. Even it was my first time to save to server. So when you save, this project is you know securely saved on our cloud server. And you can see here, this is, you know, you can load it anytime. And when you think you are done, what you need to do is this click export button. When you click export, you know, this um, system calculate how many slides are create, and then you'll be, you know, reduced by your uh, li monthly limitation. If you get one code, you have a uh, 500 and, you know, in this time I made five. So, you know, five slides to be um, reduced from your amount. And also we have, a, you know, 20% rule. So sometimes you may have a typo. So if you change less than 20% per each slide, it doesn't count. So uh, there is a no more additional you know, slide um, deduction. So this is a download page. When you click export button, there is a various download options. So this time we, you know, 
try to create the video content. So when you, what you need to do is uh, click this uh, video rendering button. And you can also download those as a PDF or just a image file. What you need to do is just so uh, you can click this each thumbnail like this way, or you can download it all as a zip file. Also, every process you will get your um, URL to share. So you can just uh, click copy and uh, paste it to any other channels. Mm, so when you click this uh, video rendering button, it may take like a few minutes and you will get your MP4 file by this chat button. So until we got our um, video, I will show you um, another tips how I use Tile. Oh, I think I just passed this preview. No, it said uh, it's uh, 20 seconds long. Oh, now I think I got video. I will show you the just MP4 file just I download from um, here is the output. Oh, because uh, I removed the background music first time, so it doesn't have a uh, background music. So we're gonna try with the music and um, different text animation. We will, we're gonna like a uh, uh, fix it a bit. First of all, I'd like to add some music. The musics are um, categorized by uh, the zone or a mood. So you can set, I'm gonna pick one from this playful. I'm not sure you can hear the music. It's too loud. And uh, there is a option for images zoom in and out. And, uh, for this time, I'd like to try different text animation. Like this one. Also, so with music, now the estimated time for video reduces to uh, 80 seconds. This is one of our adventure of Tayo. Um, you know, the length of VGM fit uh, automatically fit to the full length of the video. So the music starts with the content and it can finish exactly the same amount when your content finished. So it looks like more professional, you know, just a fade out, the, the music fade out looks like a bit mature so that's why you can upload your own background music file because uh, we do have some special technique on the handling the background music so i recommend you just uh, pick one from our music library Um, and uh, one another advantage of Tile is that you can change the size anytime for any uh, any social media. Uh, I'd like to change the size to uh, um, how about the Instagram story? It would be nice. You know, it's uh, you know. Now you can see. Um, even you don't have to change any, but uh, every design looks like looks like not bad. What you need to do is to just uh, click export and uh, render another video for that. Oh, there's a thing you need to worry because uh, if you export once more, the the download link will be like um over. Override it. So I recommend you 
save and uh, duplicate this project for another size. Now, I have a different two save video for try different size. Mm, for this time, I'd like to try landscape for just a normal YouTube size. And then what you need to do is just export all the time. You need uh, some moment to process image first. And then you can see, you see your download page to render your video. Then we can wait until we get our video. And while we can see the final video file, you know, we put the music and the different text animation. I will show you. Yeah. Like this way. Okay. So, um, sometimes, you know, if you want to um, make it quicker or you know, change some different design, we do have a manual mode for that. You know, in an automatic design, the advantage is that you can change the size anytime and, uh, you know, you can use all the advantage of tile, but sometimes you want to do a uh, make us some um, output for the specific purpose. At the time, you can switch to a uh, manual mode and then you can move your things by yourself. Like this way. Yeah. Even, even in, you know, manual mode, uh, yeah, you can, also preview your video and you can download as you can see in this uh, creation page. And then I will show you the second video for, you know, the portrait, uh, how we try it. Oh, yeah, we made a landscape size video for that. And you can set the slide time if you want to show, show more video. Like, like if you put 10 seconds video as a background, we can set the slide timing, like, you know, click this button and uh, you can change the time like this way. When you make it automatic, it you know move to the next slide after the text or text is finished. Finished to show. And last thing I'd like to share is that we do have a TTS voice out feature. So I will pick any other voice and uh, yeah, you can hear the voice, TTS voice, so you can make it like like storytelling content, like this way. And uh, the last thing, we do have an explorer section for your convenience, for your um, idea, inspiration, inspiration. So we got, we didn't have that much um, sample because this is our first approach to go global. So after, during this Absolute module, we got several um, nice outputs from the customers. So when you click one of these output, you can start the design by this template, this as a template. Like this way. All the text would be switches, so it could be a little bit weird. 
But what you need to do is uh, you can change you you can input your logo and change your message, your message, and use uh, your upload your own image or use our store libraries. Here is a you know change. Like this way. Okay, this is uh, just a um, typical way how you can use a tile. And now I think it's a time to answer the uh, have a Q and A session. Let's do it. Um, all right. The first question is: Do you have hotspot capability? Hot, sorry? Hotspot capability? Hotspot capability? Yeah. Mm, actually, I have no idea what hotspot means. Cool. cool. You... <laughs> if, uh, if, John, if you want to follow up on that question, you can go ahead and give us a little clarification. That's no problem. Uh, can you maintain different versions of the same file with different changes I make to the slides? Oh, yeah. We do have a... Uh like like um history option so what i recommend is that uh, if you have uh, if you want to make it um another version of content you need to duplicate original and then you know when you click the save you can restore anytime to the back uh, are there perform are there performance metrics metrics so you can see how your posts are performing? Oh, actually, we are uh, only focus on the creation phase. So we, um, yeah, you cannot track down the performance by tile. Cool. Um, can you auto upload to social media like Facebook, Instagram, etc.? Um, we do not integrate with the uh, onloading API with any other social medias, but we are one of YouTube creative partners. So we plan to add, you know, integrate uh, YouTube APIs in future, but I cannot sure when it's gonna happen. Cool. Um, is there an option for a voice to speak what is written on the slide? For example, somebody reading out, are you looking for, et cetera. You mean, can you add voiceover? On it? Yeah, yeah. Sure, what you need to do is a click preview and uh, there is a narration. So you, what you need to do is just a click the voice, what you like. Can you hear the voice right now? I'm not sure. Hmm. What was that? Can you hear the voice from my laptop? Not, not really. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Okay. So what you is need there to a do voice? is, uh, <laughs> mm, there is a voice. So you can just uh, click the any of the voice. Uh, amazing. Um, can it speak in other languages? Yes, um, we do only have a Korean and English first time, but during these apps and modules, we got several, any other, you know, global users. So we are either of trying to add any other voices. So far, we do have a uh, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Spanish, Dutch. Oh, wow, Portuguese, very fun. Yeah, that's it all. It just keeps going. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it possible for that voice? These are all follow up questions from Sumo Langs. These are not my own. Uh, is it possible for that voice to read additional text that is not visible on the slide? Mm, there is a tip for that. Mm, I recommend you use uh, manual mode, and I will show you how I do that. Because, uh, you know, just the um, basic mechanism of tile. It reads everything, you know, on this slide. So when I make the slide like this way, I the test, test, test. 
like this. You know, it will read this title text for first and then this test, test, test. But you, you wanna just hide this text. Mm -hmm. You can just, uh, you know, move this like box like this way. Amazing. But it still, yeah, read the first slide and the, the second slide. I love that. That's great. Trick the system. Um, can da, 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 let's see. Um, very good. Thank you for the answer. Yay. You're welcome. Uh, what about IO? We did it. Text to speech function. Yep. Nailed it. Um, that's what a lot of these questions were about. Um, okay. I got further information on what a hotspot is. A hotspot is like an icon on a chair. And when you click it, it gives a call to action, a price to purchase, et cetera. Hotspot. Could you tell me once more? Yeah. It's when like there's like an icon or something on the image or on the square that mm -hmm. a user could click and then it gives them additional information either about the product or like the price of it or something like that. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I don't get to what hotspot is. <laughs> That's no problem. We can keep going through these. Um, okay. Do you have templates for all the main social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn? Mm, if you're asking about the size, yeah, we do have uh, every um, um, size for the social media. As I already showed that, we do have uh, optimized size for the Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even the Google Ads. And there's one more thing. The advantage of Tayo is that you can add your own size anytime. So if you do want to use some specific, like, like you know, um, WordPress or any other specific optimized size, you can add your own size and you can use it. Or, and if you mean just a uh, normal template, mm -hmm. actually we don't have a very limited templates yet uh, so far because um tayo it works by design engine so what i recommend is you always try to start by you know inputting your own message and then just uh, try to click this shuffle button to get your own design cool thank you um can you save different settings for different brands like different colors uh font sizes etc Mm, it may be uh, related with the uh, white label product, um, but there is a way for that. You know, the white label, we do have a white label product, but that's not, include, that's not included in this AppSumo deal. But we do have a color, you know, custom color set for, you know, your own. So you can add unlimitedly unlimited your own you know custom colors for each awesome. brand mm -hmm. so you can use this feature for your cost clients awesome yeah i love that um can we add our own voiceover for the audio oh um you don't you can't unload your own audio file yet but uh, we have a plan to add it in our next version and which can be available in full quarter this year and or Asumo user will be, you know, get the access for the next version. Cool. Um, can you tell us, uh, this is just a clarification question. Can you tell us how many mm -hmm. slides you're using in this example here? Somebody wants to know uh, this. They're trying to get an idea of what they can do. For, for this example, I use five slides. Cool. Um, do you get new updates as part of your purchase? Yes, correct. Sure do. Um, is there a call to action button on any of the slides? Can you add a button that is clickable that will take the user to a new link? Um, actually, main purpose of Thai is that um, you get your MP4 or 
PNG image file, so you you can't get any you know CTA button in the slide. All right. Um, same question back to back from two different people. Love it. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Makes sense. Cool. Uh, so do I download the clip so that I can trim it? Oh, mm, we do have a, a library from Paxel and Story Blocks, and both libraries are not allowed to get just a download the Stone library itself. But if you use the library, the store library with the uh, you know tie features, you can um, you can use it even the commercial purpose. But you cannot trim just the uh, uh, stock library itself. All right. Um, and Sumalings, we have just a couple more questions here. If you want to get those in. Um, are there any specific bandwidth requirements for the rendering? Um, actually, no, because uh, we, we do have uh, our own uh, render farm, so you don't need to worry about bandwidth. Cool, that's fun. Um, does the color support gradient color? Color, sorry? Does the color support gradient color? I'm not 100% sure either what that means. I know what a gradient is, and so maybe that's what this is asking. I don't know. Kenny, if you want to send some clarification. Um, uh, can you... Uh, gradient. Does it make sense now? Uh, I got the question, and uh, yeah. Um, you know, we do make a color gradient the automatically so it oh. is the it show by uh, the near 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 color and so you cannot set by yourself hmm. it's cool. just automatically yeah like this oh way. fun uh adam says this is great for my needs thanks you're welcome adam thank you um do you do, 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 do. do you have a broadly diverse library, diverse people and settings, et cetera? Sorry? Do you have a broadly diverse library, like diverse people and settings, et cetera? Hmm. We do have a you know, search. I, I think it's a related to the library, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We do have a search box, so I think uh, you should try to search some work for that because uh, we do have uh, three over three million stock libraries. So I think you get enough image from it. Great. Like, um, can you scroll through and show all of the social media platforms that are supported? Sure. The Facebook. Square landscape portrait from the thumbnail, page, page, uh, page cover, YouTube, Instagram, Google, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, just uh, you know, normal presentation for for the you know desktop and the LinkedIn. We 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 get LinkedIn size recent recently by the requesting of one of awesome. Um, all right, we had one more question come in. Can you add multiple videos in a single slide and trim at a specific point to start the next video from there? Mm, no, um, I'd like to say that, you know, just uh, one video for one slide and you cannot okay. mix it up, yeah. Cool. Um, and those are all of the questions that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap us up. Um, somebody did ask, what does one code get you? So let's go ahead and talk about that right now. Sumolings, you can go to appsumo.com slash tile. That's tile with a Y uh, to redeem your codes. Um, it is The deal is starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Um, I should actually turn on my camera for this. 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> you can see my face again. I'm here. Um, so you can get your single code for $59, um, and that includes 500 slides per month, and then it just goes up uh, from there. Um, yeah, so that's backed by AppSumo's 60-day guarantee, so you can go ahead and get started uh, and let us know, of course, in the comments how it's working for you. We also, if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave those questions on the deal page. We're happy to answer those for you. Uh, and yeah, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this today. Thank you, John, for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, this has been awesome. Uh, and yeah, thank you all. Everybody have a good one. Bye.